In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an atmospheric blending in PS Touch. Welcome back again, guys. So let's go ahead and begin this tutorial. So add a photo library. Click on the background image. Done. So let us import our Godzilla image. So you click right here. Click here and photo layer. Also click on photo library. So pick up this image which you want to add. Done. You can take it to the top right here. You can even manipulate the size a bit to your own preference. And done. Like so. So I just click on done. Now I'm going to fade it out, so click right here, click on fade. So let's just change the direction. Oh yes. Fade it to the stop. Okay. Like so. Now I want to blend it. As you can see, it's further away in the background. So some atmospheric stuff should be happening as you can see it looks way too sharp to be that far so what we want to do is first of all to reduce the saturation let's click on saturation you know things that are further away from the camera tends to have a lot of less saturation okay done and as well as contrast so you click right here and I'm going to be using curves for this one. Okay, so click on curves. So remember, the further they are from the background, the less contrast they will be. So this one is going to be less contrast. So we take the shadows, which is this one up. Take it to the top. Should we take this one down as well? Maybe. Let's take it a bit to the bottom. And as you can see, the background has a lot of orange so and red. We have red and we have yellow. The blue is the opposite of yellow. So when we reduce the blue, we have yellow. And you know red plus yellow will give us orange. So we're going to add red. So I take the red up like so. And come to the blue. I'll take the blue down which is adding some yellows okay come to the reds again i think i should take it even more okay so let's go back to the rgb i think i should take this side no should i Okay, I'm going to delete this point, and yeah, as you can see, it's looking a bit more blending to the background. Go to the blue, take it down. So that is just it done. So let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before. Looks way out of point, and this is the after. Yeah. So to add more, you can come over here and reduce the opacity a bit. And this will blend it in even more. So this is just that quick tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.